What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at the most recent mysterious M-Class solar flares that occurred within almost 45 minutes of each other, 24 hours apart, and they both sent out interplanetary shockwaves. There's the latest one that impacted planet Earth, causing a brief radio blackout on the Earth earth-facing side of the sun just a, a few hours ago during that time frame i did take a uv reading like i did the other day i'll share it with you guys right now i took this at 12 noon out here in southeast phoenix you can see conditions were mostly clear there really wasn't a cloud in the sky for miles temperature 71 degrees the uv for this time of year in february is typically low it's it's below five i've never seen it really above five in the winter time moderate at UV as the sun angle is low. You can see it's still in the southern sky, but for some reason, I'm detecting summertime UV readings and actually had a maximum reading of 10.4, which again is a July and August type of UV for out here in Arizona. But for some reason and reasons that are unknown at this time, it could be a variety of reasons, the UV is, according to my instrument, more than twice what it should be for, for this time of year. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos, send them all around the world. Want to come back to the website? Posted a, a new photo today from Mark out of Kansas. And this is from a moon a few months ago, but he took an incredible photo from Kansas and shared that with me. I wanted to share it with you guys. Quick look at the Schumann Resonance. You can see there's been an increase in activity in the last 24 to 48 hours. Just like there's been a, a bit of a mysterious increase in the GOES X-ray flux in the last 24 hours. I mean, what are the odds of a M-class solar flare occurring yesterday at 1731 Universal Time and then today on the 15th, yet another, same strength, M1 class solar flare, both creating interplanetary shock waves. This one today occurring at 1815 Universal Time. They were almost exactly at the same time. As you can see here on the map, if you just looked at this graph, you would think that they occurred at exactly the same time. 24 hours apart. It's almost as if something's on a 24 hour cycle influencing the sun. Looking at the planetary K index, quiet right now, and look for that to change here in the next day or two as the CME associated with the interplanetary shock wave arrives here at Earth. And this is where it originated from, right here on the, the northwestern limb of the sun. And I had somebody ask me a couple of days ago if this was indeed like the eastern side and the western side. And that is correct to the best of my knowledge when we're viewing the sun with this instrument. I've always known this to be the east side over here on the left, and this would be the west on the right-hand side. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs and monitor the mighty supervolcano. A little bit of earthquake activity in the last 24 hours over here at Parker Peak. Everywhere else is pretty quiet with regard to, to small earthquake activity. A little bit of magma intrusion, but that's what we've been seeing now for the, the past several months. Something else I'm monitoring of interest in the southern Indian Ocean. You can see now three potential cyclones in the southern Indian Ocean. If you go back in time to February the 5th, just in the last 10 days, this will make the fifth storm in the last 10 days in the southern Indian Ocean. For some reason, they're lining up like airplanes out here, getting ready to come in for a landing over here in Madagascar. This is today, and you can see there's three disturbances out there, and there were two ahead of these three disturbances that I just showed you, and that would make five in the last 10 days, which is pretty rare. That's a lot of activity for the southern Indian Ocean. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos, and if all around the world, Ethan from Louisiana was driving through New Mexico in Deming, New Mexico, and he said he followed this thing, or it followed him, for the better part of 50 miles. It was just flying through the sky. He has no idea what it was. He managed to get a couple of photos of what appears to be a black square flying through the sky of Deming, New Mexico, landing out of Coleman, Alabama. Big line in the sky separating blue skies from thick clouds. Same type of phenomenon over in Lebanon, Oregon. Video said 
sent in by Matt Jen from Oregon, who noticed almost the same exact sky several thousand miles apart. Also received some more photos out of the Ozarks in Missouri, sent in by Aurora, Missouri, of the unique sky involving the fuel dump and a recent SpaceX rocket launch back on January 31st of 2022. More incredible photos of that thing propelling through the sky. It looked like a, a giant glowing propeller moving through the sky. Tina out of Arkansas, fiery orange sky at either sunrise or sunset. Got some big light beams up in the sky in Ontario, sent in by Sarah O. Oh, the temperature has to be very cold for this to occur. And when it does occur, it's actually kind of rare. You don't see this very often. The atmospheric conditions have to be just right, and it has to be super cold. Going up to the International Space Station, Mary Hall noticed something unique out over the South Atlantic Ocean, something that looked like a filament inside of an electric oven. You guys ever see those black filaments inside of a an oven all right there's what one looks like but that thing's a few hundred miles long another good observation by mary who also noticed this lightning making contact with the water off the florida coast and these next photos were taken by maria out of alabama very detailed photos of the moon sent it by maria from alabama another fiery orange and gold sky by drew b out of slidell louisiana and yet another fiery orange sky almost looks like drew's this one's out of des moines iowa sent in by daniel really cool waves up in the sky Photos sent in by Native American Gardening. Not exactly sure of the location, but those are some very unique photos. And along with the, the wavy skies, a super cool sunset. Once again by Native American Gardening. Sally V took this video footage from out over the Gulf of Mexico from Naples, Florida. If I had to take a guess, I would say that these were some sort of Chinese lanterns drifting across the, the Gulf of Mexico, but not 100% sure. Those are very Right, good video by Sally V. And here's something that doesn't happen very often. I got two people that don't know each other that notice the same sky phenomena above Wisconsin. First photo was sent in by Trudy from Nina, Wisconsin. These go back to February 13th. Noticed a big halo in the sky around the moon. It was also noticed by John from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Also on the night of February 13th. Great job, guys. Keep the, the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.